Um, we will see. They got a lot of cars out here. I haven't seen a Desa like this in years. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. We're going straight into the video, you guys. If you guys rocking with me, man, but make sure you guys go ahead and give me the thumbs up and all that good stuff, you guys. All that does is help out the algorithm, man. We had a Dessa auto auction. We're getting ready to do a walk around plus test drive. So we're going on the open road. If you guys are new to the channel, you've probably never seen this, but on my channel, man. So um, let's get it, man. We got a couple of cars. There's a lot of cars out here, you guys, today. Um, they actually doing what they're supposed to do, man. So um, we will see what we got. Um, hopefully we can touch a lot of them on this video. Um, let's just get straight to it, man. First one we're going to rock with. Let's mess with this one. Um, this is an older car. Y'all, don't be, don't, don't, don't get mad at me, man. There's going to be a lot of different cars out here, a lot of newer cars. You can see them over there. We're going to dry those too, but I'm just w working my way from the building on over there. All right. So uh, first one we got is a what is this a 99 or something volvo v70 um y'all be surprised how well these things sell it's a 98 um it's got 200,000 miles on it it's a, oh it's an s90 i'm over here tripping so let's see if she starts up this is a donation car so oh, it looks pretty clean in the inside too start it up she started right up does have a check engine light on um let's see what works on here uh this does not work wait power it needs a code not too sure about that um got a sunroof in this joint too this is a really clean old school car yo for real for real huh um let's drive it see what you do i got my code reader with me oh i'm tripping I thought it was at Mannheim, y'all. So got the call reader, so we actually gonna see why this uh is actually on. Let's find uh, uh wherever that may be. It's an old school joint, so I don't know where the OBD2 is. Um OBD2 connector, it's got a little diagram right there. It's what? It's over here? Ain't no way. Oh, I didn't broke the thing. Or it was already broke. I'm just throw that back there. It says it's over here. That was a diagram set. I don't know. That's weird. Am I tripping? Diagram says it is right to the left of the emergency brake. What? That's crazy. Oh, right here. I'm tripping. All right. That's different. Never seen that a day in my life, y'all. All right. Let me pop that open. Uh, link to this code reader and my jump pack is in the description below y'all. They are on sale. So go check it out Let's see Let's check out these electronics while we in here looks like this might be broken. Nope. That's good. It's just wobbling All right. Boom. That's cool Obviously, we know that radio ain't doing nothing, but we ain't tripping on that. This has nothing stored, nothing pending, so that's weird. Maybe my co-reader just ain't linking to it the right way. Let's try it one more time. All right, there we go. Got a code in there now. Let's see. It's still saying nothing. That's weird. Let's just see how she drive, y'all. I'm gonna pull it out um, on the road right now. I actually decided I want to show y'all these cars before we th we uh, drive it because I haven't even been over here. So these are this is the lane for that new um, wholesale lane that I, or the new whatever the cars for the new wholesaler that I was telling you guys about the car group. Um, so this is after the Carvana buyout. This seems to be a new um, person that's running lanes. So. Um, we will see they got a lot of cars out here. I haven't seen a Dessa like this in years So I am excited you guys um, But I feel like this could be a good or a bad thing 
because I kind of feel like this is Carvana, like no cap. So, <laughs> um, yeah, because I mean, like, I feel like this whole lane right here is like corner in the market. Like they're going to be able to dictate the prices for the entire auction. So we'll see how things go um, for sure. So it's more cars back here. I got a lot of these cars on my list. I'm rocking with that uh, BMW, the X drive right there, the 535. Um, I got some other cars that I'm going to be rocking with. So I'm trying to buy everything that I can, man. So um, my brother, my brothers will be out here later. We got a lot of cars out here, man. Look at these cars. So um, I'm trying to really rock with this, man, uh, for real, for real. So um, yeah, I mean, I just see money everywhere. Like <laughs> this is, I haven't been this excited in a long time. Like Mannheim makes me excited, but like a death of the day, they got me feeling good. They got an XTS right there. I'm not rocking with that one. That thing's supposed to go for like 10 grand, um, but who knows? Um, we shall see. Anyways, I'll meet you on the road. So far, y'all, I got like a little noisy strut, but nothing that will dictate uh, me from being able to sell it. So um, it did, um, it's not loud at all, y'all. So um, let's just see how she rides real quick. Put it at a complete stop. Make sure this training is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, most definitely alignment's off. You see that? It's going straight. Transmission's doing what it's supposed to do so far. I think that was second gear. Let's see, we up to 45. Uh, 50, okay, third. Let's see if it goes to overdrive. 60. All right, it's driving pretty good. Brakes seem to be good. Okay. Seems to be okay. Let's do a turnaround real quick. See if she keeps the uh, momentum. Uh, so, so far the alignment, if you want to do the alignment um, and we need that radio to obviously work. So it's either going to need a code or it's going to need a whole different radio. So let's see. Make sure she don't overheat that temperature gauge. Keep your eyes on that at all times, y'all. All right, up to 55. 65. All right, yeah, she good. Yeah, I mean, that's... And the reason why I said you don't need to get an alignment is because people don't... Like, if you if somebody come in and they buying an older car for a cheap price, they don't care about the alignment. They'll do that themselves. $60, that's fine. They'll just use that as like a bargaining tool. So if you can get it for a good price and you still got the a nice, decent profit margin in there, then you're straight. If you get it at a heck of a deal, then just go ahead and get your alignment done and then you can go ahead and do your thing. So um, I'm gonna put this one on the list, you guys. Um, comment below, let me know how much would you pay for this joint. Um, let's just keep that going for all these cars, man. So comment below, let me know. Next one up, you guys, we got a 05 Buick LaCrosse. Good tires on the front, got some rust there. We are in the state of Minnesota, man. Disclaimer for you guys. Nice leather interior. Got a little rust starting there. Body overall though looks clean. Backup sensors. Sunroof as well. Y'all can see that. That's right there. Got a little scratch right there. See if she starts up. Let's see. Good. She started right up. Um, exhaust is obviously loud. You can hear that. Uh, looks like the interior just needs a good vacuum and a wipe down. Look at underneath this hood real quick. It's already popped, so might as well. Uh, if it'll open. Let's see. It's not opening. Well. Hopefully the shit, yeah, the shit, whatever. Let's just look underneath. Uh, looks to be dry. That's good. Okay. So um, the odometer's not reading on this one, you guys. So we don't know how many miles is in there. Let's see. Sunroof is working. That's good. Let's see if this radio works. Boom. That's good. Boom. Boom. Boom, good. 
All right, let's put her on the road. Oh, we gotta see if this blower works though. For sure, let me see. Wait, does it? Is it powered off? Might be, oh, there we go, okay. Boom, all right, blower works. I'm cool with that. Off button, all right. All right, let's uh, meet you guys on the uh, street here. So I don't know if you guys can see, it is gonna need a windshield. Um, and then these brakes are really soft. So um, I don't know, it could just need to have the brakes bland or it might need a caliper or something or it might have a busted line. So um, you wanna factor in a couple hundred bucks just in case on that one. Let's see. Let's see how she roll. Okay, shifting good. Okay, let's see, 50, 55, let's get her up to 60. All right, 65, hey, she rolling, just like a Buick should. Okay, all right, this is a good one. Let me step on the brakes. All right, so, yeah, like I said, just a little soft. It's not like it's spongy, but just a little soft. So what we got, windshield, brakes a little soft, um, and then the exhaust is a little loud. So um, it's quieted down, so I'm assuming that's just like a little exhaust leak, not like a flex pipe or nothing crazy like that. Um, let's just do it one more time and then move on to the next one. 40, 50. All right, she's good. I'm putting her on the list. Comment below. Let me know how much would you pay for this one. Next one up, you guys, is a 2004 Toyota Matrix. Um, it's got 117,000 miles on it. It's got a little bit of ding right there. That ain't nothing, but overall, this body is looking awesome. Um, it's got a ding right there as well. Bumper is a little bit flawed, but that's nothing, man. People buy Toyotas because of the engines and the transmissions, man. So let's look in the interior. Cloth interior is nice and clean. So this is pretty dang decent, actually, man. You gotta love your Toyota owners, man. Nine times out of 10, they keep them right. Let's see what we got. Let's check the, all right, that works. That's good. We got a check engine light on, so we're gonna check that for sure. Make sure ain't nothing crazy. All right. That's good. Boom. All right, we're gonna do a slide, see if that works. All right, that's good. All right, let's uh, check this code and see what we got. I'm gonna take an educated guess, you guys. It's got something to do with an EVAP because these RPMs is just staying at 2000. It's acting like I'm basically on the gas. As you can see, I'm not on there. So it might be a throttle pedal. Okay, O2 sensor. O2 sensor, yeah, so like I said, man, it has something to do with the EVAP, pinned in, let's see, system two lean back, bang, that's all correlating with the same thing for sure, you guys. Let me make sure they're not, uh, if there's a transmission diagnostics too, I don't think there is. Here, let's just get the driving while wow, it's doing this thing. Okay, there we go. Read codes. Okay, that's all engine, so we good. All right, let's throw this thing on the, uh, on the road. All right, let's see what she do. Well, the four cylinder got a little kickback. All right, let's see, 35, 40, up to 50, five, 60, getting a little shaking in the wheel, 65. Try to get up to 70 before we get down here. Uh, right, got it pretty close to 70. All right, needs front brakes and rotors. Get some pulsating in my foot. Um, it's not terrible, but you can tell that it's going to need to be done. Um, but yeah, so let's do a turnaround real quick.
smart. She going on my list as well too, y'all. So it looks like just an O2 sensor and front brakes and rotors. All right, let's see what we gonna drive first over here, you guys. We got a Lexus. A lot of this stuff is on my list, y'all. A lot of it is. Um, all right, we just might as well start down here. Most definitely going to rock with this Acura TL. This is like one of my favorite cars to sell, you guys. Um, it's an Acura TL. So everybody in Minnesota, you can try to bid, bid it um, against me on that one, man. But when you see me on there, don't go, don't go to war with me, man. All right? <laughs> Let's see. We got the 07 Envoy. These are decent, too. Um, a lot of people like these Envoys. It's got a ding going on right there. You can kind of hear it pulley. Let me let, let me let y'all hear this. It's got a, I don't know if you can hear it now. There you go. Pulley, all right, the tires are terrible. So that's gonna need tires. That's like 300 bucks right there. All around, it's a four by four vehicle. I think it did have leather interior if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's got leather interior. So I'm gonna let this one warm up just because if y'all remember, I just had two of these Envoys. Um, well, the XL versions, and then we had some problems. So um, I'm gonna let that warm up, see if any oil pressure lights come on or anything like that. Um, we're gonna go straight into the Acura TL, you guys. Um, this one is a, what year is this? It's got 186,000 miles, probably 05. All right, so 06. Um, let's look at the interior, uh, the doors lock. What's going on? Let me see. All right, this one's good. All right, look, this is like the first one I ever seen where this wasn't torn up. This is normal for these these to be torn up, you guys. Let's see. With 186,000 miles, man, I'm most definitely going to try to put a lot. Yeah, if this if this drives good, we're going to try to get this for sure. All right, that works. That's good. Look, hey, this little wholesaler or big wholesaler, they might they might have my business, man. I ain't going to lie to you. All right, let's see. All right, that's good. Let's see if this blower works. All right, the blower works. Um, no check engine light on. Okay, check tire pressure light is on. There ain't nothing. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, checking this. The back looks real nice and clean. This thing is like basically ready to go. Tires is cool. Not great, but all right. Uh, I'm gonna meet y'all on the street. Moment of truth. Let's see what she do. Oh, shifting good as heck. All right. We up to about 50. All right, she up to 60. Oh, man, come on, man. Hey, this thing dry like butter. This is, hey, this is a good one for sure. This is a good one, man. I've been in a lot of Acro TLs in my lifetime, you guys. Um, this year, specifically the 05 to 06s, man. And um, most definitely, those transmissions usually shift pretty dang hard um, once they get up on miles. So um, this thing is shifting like like it's almost new, if you ask me. Turn this joint around real quick. Stop. Them brakes, man, this is a really good car, y'all. This is a really good car. Yeah, okay. All right, from what I can see, it needs nothing. So I'm gonna put this on the list, you guys. I'm going full, like all the way in on this one probably tomorrow, so let's get it. All right, y'all, I'm actually jumping around real quick. I'm gonna mess with this Chrysler Pacifica. Um, we, I have to get out of here in a second, so I'm gonna have to come back. So I wanna make this video real quick and then actually touch a lot of the cars that I think I can make some money on real quick. So um, anyways, this thing's got a 220 on it. Um, it is a 04. Pacifica it smells pretty good in the inside. The tires look decent. It is all-wheel drive. That's good. And it's a mid-size SUV. Let's see if she starts up. Oh yeah, she's gonna start up. Oh man. Let's see. Why is it dinging with no key in there? Alright, she started right up. Oh, this thing is. Man, I think they got this. I don't know what they got going on over here, man. All right, that started up. Let's, okay, cut that. Nope, cut that off. Thank you. They about to get me uh, copyrighted, y'all. 
Uh, let's see. Obviously, that was working. Okay, so we got this. Boom. 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 All right, that's cool. So, let's driver. This is not... Let me see. This got to light up. How do I light this thing up? I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out on my own time. All right. I'm going to meet you guys on the um, street. Oh, it needs a windshield. <laughs> All right, y'all. So something I noticed with this car is that the uh, power seat does not work over here. So that doesn't work as well. And let's see how she actually drive. And I heard some clunky coming from the left front. So let's just see how this engine goes and it's training. So I don't know how fast I'm going. Oh, yes, I do. So I'm at 45, 50. And then I don't, I don't, I would say that this thing is, I can see like the green a little bit, but it just ain't powered up. So I got to see what's up with that. But like, it's, oh, it's driving pretty good though. Let's see, step on the brakes. All right. That seems to be cool. Oh, that's a strut. I can hear it. Front left strut, y'all. That ain't nothing. All right. That, hey, drives really good for a two, with 220 on it, man. Yeah, for real, for real. I got to figure out where they getting their cars from. All right, let's see. Do this again. All right. Up to 50 again. Transmission doing what it's supposed to do. It's about 60. All right, man. I'm putting this on the list. Um, recap. Windshield. Got to figure out what's going on with the uh, dash lights. Not lighting up. And then uh, we got this driver's seat that needs to be um, figured out as well. So that could be something simple. Um, comment below how much did you pay for this car. Um, I would say that windshield should be about 220 tops. Uh, the seat, that'll be like another 200 if you got to replace a whole seat. And then, what else you got? What did I say? Oh, and then that. You can just say like 100 bucks. So, what's that? $500 probably in parts and five to 550 um, in parts and labor. Tell me how much did you pay? How much would you sell it for? So, let's get to the next car. Next one up, y'all. We rocking with the uh, 20, I think it's the 2013 535 um, I, but it is the X Drive, you guys. And we're looking at for flaws because this is something that you're going to have to spend some money on. So we want to make sure that this thing works all the way um, right. Um, it looks like it's missing that marker light on this side, you guys. Um, the bumper is cracked. It's got 104,000 miles on it. The interior is that nice peanut butter dookie little Nutella. Looking like Nutella in there, y'all. Smells like marijuana in here. Sunroof. Okay. See if she starts up. She starts up. That's a good sign as well. Um, check engine light is on. That's something you want to scan for sure. So we're going to scan it. I'm hearing a little bit of exhaust. A little bit of exhaust. It's coming up front, so it sounds like that might be um, a flex pipe. Or just exhaust. I'm just listening, y'all. No, that's the heat shield. Yep. Um, let's see. Oh, my bad. I'm over here acting like I never did this before. Drive. Neutral. Yeah, that's a heat shield for sure. Yep. Heat shield. Um, let's look at these messages on here. A lot of times, uh, BMW will tell you what's going on. I used to have a BMW back when, before I became a car dealer. Uh, let's see. All right, we're going to oh, keep going that. Throw this in drive. All right, let's see. I want to pull this out a little bit better than that. Well, we can kind of give it a better once over before we pull off because y'all saw what just happened with me with that Audi, that Q5. I'm going to put that somewhere in this video too. That way y'all can see that. It'll pop up. But uh, anyways, let's see what we got here. We should just create a thumbnail, huh? Right now. <laughs> All right. 
So looking pretty good. These tires, Continental tires on there, they look pretty good as well. Tinted window, I guess, all the way around. Curb rash on the rims as well. Let's pop this hood, man. Gonna wanna most definitely make sure that everything, like I said, is working and doing what it's supposed to do. See if we see any leaks on top. Okay. I don't see anything. Let's go underneath. Mm, nah, looks pretty dry. Okay. Shut this hood. Let's see. All right, uh, what else we got going on here, y'all? Let's, uh, I think the radio was working already. We checked that. Um, sunroof. Windows. All right, boom. Well, I don't know if we checked that. Let me see. Cut this on. If it's got some pot, let me see. Radio. All right, that's on. Then, yeah, the fan was on. And then let me check these codes before we drive off because I don't want to waste my time. Okay, let's see what we got, y'all. EVAP, okay, that makes sense. Pending, still got the EVAP in there. Let's just make sure, okay, we got a transmission. So this is what I was talking about earlier, y'all. Um, on some cars, when you go in there, it'll say engine and then transmission. So you wanna make sure you're checking out the transmission at all times. Um, the first time I learned my lesson on that was actually on the Audi, um, what is, I don't even know what it was. It was like the small, it was an A3. Yep, um, it was a five speed uh a3 it was like a 20 uh, no 2008 that i bought and um it basically ended up needing the whole clutch um or no no it wasn't a five speed it was an actual um automatic my bad i guess they just got a funny type of like clutch system with the whole automatic thing that goes on in there and it was all messed up so i ended up uh having to run it through um i got lucky on that one man um i actually ran it through and then i actually made like 300 dollars on the car um, because they had got it at a crazy price so i just got lucky so um so far like i said evap um cold it's got that marker light that's messed up and then um smells like tree in here so that means that it had to get a detail and then it's got that uh that bumper which is you know those are nothing so far so um so far so good we'll see what's up um i'm most definitely gonna put this on the road right now and uh drive it so we're gonna have a little fun as well of course because uh why not <laughs> you know what i mean Plus, I want to make sure this thing runs really, really good. So um, I have been thinking about, uh, since the prices of cars have been going down, I've been thinking about getting me a personal car again, you guys. Um, but we'll kind of see how everything goes, man. I'll meet you guys on the road. All right, let's see what she do, man. We're going to drive this one all the way onto the county road, too, as well. Okay, there we go. I like the way that feel. Oh, yeah. Hey, sometimes you get in a car, man, and it feels almost as good as sex, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's very rare that I feel like that, but almost as good as sex. Nothing's better than sex, if you ask me. But um, this thing is driving the way that it's supposed to, for sure, for sure. Suspension is tight. Um, it is shifting the way it's supposed to. Um, yeah, I don't think, let's see. We're gonna drive this though for a while, man. Cause uh, if I pay some money for a car, like if we go for a car that's like worth like 10 again, we gotta make sure that we ain't gonna be SOL. So let's drive it. Um, I am noticing that that thing is not moving. And I think that's the thermostat, but it's got, that doesn't make sense to me. Cause it's got a oil. Here, let me zoom in for y'all. So right here, I would think that would be the thermostat, right? But it's got an oil um temperature thing kind of going so i don't know i'm gonna have to research that um if you ever got questions as well on the cars that are at the auction man do your due diligence man google it um or talk to your mechanic if you got a trusted mechanic make sure you do that man um oh yeah man she driving good man 
in the all-wheel drive with being in Minnesota, this would be perfect. If I can get this at a good price, man, this might be a contender for sticking around. Nah, I'm lying. We need money, y'all, and we need it now. All right, I'm doing 85, man. I'm doing 85. This thing is driving. This is nice. This is nice, man. Let's drive it a little bit more um, just because, man. Okay, so we got that starting to move a little bit, of course. Let's see. Make this right real quick. See what she do. I think I'm gonna bring it down about half a mile. Yeah, she's shifting the way she's supposed to, man. She got all the power. Let's do it again, y'all. Let's see. This thing is doing what she's supposed to do, man. Okay. Um, I'm most definitely putting this on my list, you guys. Um, comment below. Let me know. I want to know on this one, how much would you pay for it if you were selling it? And then let me know how much would you pay for it if you were keeping it? I know a lot of y'all going to tell me you probably wouldn't even mess with it at all because it's a Beamer. But comment below. Let me know um, what your thoughts are on this car, you guys. Um, I am going to end this video because I got to get up out of here, you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Um, I will say that I am impressed um, for sure with that lineup that we saw so far. Um, also, I I think that this could be a decent thing when it comes to um, Carvana um, buying out um, Odessa because obviously they just brought in a big wholesaler. Um, and I mean, if y'all been watching these Odessa videos, man, um, then you know that it's been very, very tough out here at uh, this auction in uh, particular and the cars have been terrible. So um, I'm glad to be able to give y'all some better content um, and give y'all some better cars, especially coming to this auction because usually we have to get better cars at Mannheim, Minneapolis. So um, either way it goes, man, if you rock with it, um, go ahead. If you didn't like it, whatever the case may be, man, go ahead and uh, give your boy the thumbs up or the thumbs down if you're if you're a hater. No, <laughs> a thumbs up, man. Um, and then also go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the notification bell and all that good stuff, man. I rock with y'all, man. I'm out. Peace.